Hello and welcome back to Clovis County. Uh, today I would like to start working on redoing this interchange in order to move my development out this way and start a farming community. So <laughs> normally I start with some form of more rural areas transition towards the suburban and work my way up to towards the urban area but because I started on my tile that I wanted to be my urban area I don't have a lot of the supporting um, population areas and uh, industries that normally I would have when developing an urban area so I, I kind of want to start pushing out that direction now that we have a little bit going on here and I think, you know, as we continue to progress, we'll continue to build out our beach and our city here. So one of the things I want to do before we get started into that is just paint out our city area. So we have this whole area in here, which will be the city of Clovis. It's the... Uh, capital seat of the county so we'll just paint that out it's going to be ugly for a second and then I want to increase our industry area make sure it covers everything And then this will be Clovis Beach down here. Clovis Beach, city of Clovis. And I don't know what to call this, other than maybe the Clovis Industrial District. Perfect. So while we're in here, I'm going to change the style of this area to the Brooklyn's and Queens. Um, not so important right now, but as that density levels up. I'm going to convert some of the areas to those mid-rise kind of buildings um, and I'll probably utilize some of the wall-to-wall -to, -wall to uh, transition them as well. The wall-to-wall -wall I think looks really good in like the beach kind of areas but the, uh, the Brooklyn's and Queens are just such a nice new asset I have to use them. Uh, I also want to make sure we are good on our services and whatnot so I think recreational use uh, would be good for a little leisure town like this leisure city and then oh, I think I'm looking for in this yes encourage biking And then we'll do the same for these. Encourage biking and recreational use. Where'd you go? There we go. Perfect. All right, so what we're going to do today is I am probably going to end up popping the 25 tiles mod or maybe the 81 at some point in the near future. Um, I want to start, let's get out of this, looking at having little rural communities popping up. Um, you know, in these areas along through here, kind of funneling into the city, making use of the 
the highway network and also I think it would just be cool to have you know your destination area and the little rural communities that you know your farming area your ore areas basically base them around like the industrial areas and this is where they come for recreation and vacation look at the little little guy all right but for now we need this to build our highway network and I'm gonna grab that and this so now we have this whole area we can build our highway network our farming community and then um, probably another interchange right here to connect the whole thing in so I am going to pause this I am not necessarily the greatest interchange builder uh, I'm not necessarily the greatest at anything to do with this game but interchanges I'm exceptionally bad at but the plan is a stack interchange uh, something pretty pretty built up pretty grand and uh, yeah we're gonna we're gonna do that right here Okay, I think that about does it. So this should set up a, a nice little interchange for us. It's a, actually came out pretty pretty good. I like it. In my planning for this, if you will, I didn't really know what to do because I wanted to preserve this... Um, you know this vanilla castle ruin thing so I I had tried to have these uh, ramps here starting back here and make nice sweeping motions um, but because of the height of these segments you know you had to start pretty far back and it would cut right through there so I had some kind of ugly work around on this side very asymmetrical um, although I don't think asymmetry is not necessarily realistic as I don't 
notice a whole lot of symmetry in real life uh, intersections, but for the purpose of this game, we want some form of symmetry. Obviously, they could be centered slightly better. Uh, and I had to adjust this one for the pillar there, but I'd say overall this came out very nicely. Uh, you know, I really... Well, again, one of the reasons I, I wanted to start trying to make my own videos here was to challenge myself to do better, right? Because almost when you feel like you have somebody watching you, even though I've had nobody watching these, but you think somebody might at one point, you want to you wanna do better. So it's a nice way to challenge yourself. Um, so I, I would like to probably set up a farming district out here. I think that's the other goal for today. So let's just extend this ramp. I'm sorry, this uh, highway all the way out here. And ultimately, and this is another reason I'm thinking of just turning you know, pop in the 81 tiles. Ultimately, the plan for this is that it will head out this way and connect to the edge. I want that to be another, you know, connection area. Um, but for the moment, I don't really have that option and it's not hugely important. So for the time being, I'm just going to loop these just in case anybody needs to use them. We're going to build a very simple interchange. be our basic for our interchange there. Now what I'd like to do is come out say about let's just start off with about 20 units. Oops. Also don't there. Um Oh, you know what? Almost forgot to make sure all this is facing the right way. That would have been uh, embarrassing. Perfect. So I would like to... We're going to ignore this side for now. We'll do something with that probably at some point later. But I'd just like to put a very basic... I don't know what I would do without node controller anymore. Like, I just... Yeah, I think I mentioned that my son plays a little bit um, just to drive cars around. And I load up some of my old Xbox saves, and they look pretty decent. And you just realize that it was just, you, you were confined to such limits that you don't have things like node controller and move, move it. But, you know, there was always a way to make do. There, so. I think this is going to be our... 
our little off ramp here. Let me hit it with the traffic manager real quick because I know it's going to do some things I don't like. So we're not going right here, right? We can go straight across or turn. And then here, we're not going left. We can only go right. So there we want to be able to go right or straight. There we're only going straight across. And here we are only going straight across. We don't want to be able to go left there, but we can go left there, right? I think I did that right. These things can be <laughs> confusing. So, this is going to be our next area, right? So let's just get a general area painted out. And then I'm also, this is going to be an industry area for the farming. So we'll paint that out, kind of. And uh, this one's easy because who doesn't like a good, actually maybe I should place the farm building first. Uh, yeah, you know what, we'll name that soon. So I want to put this out about maybe a little bit further back. And then this will be like our town center area. So let's just go 10 in either direction. Go 30 deep, and we'll think about what we're going to do in there as we go on. But then I want to have uh, a small little cluster of density. Obviously, you know, we'll use low density buildings, but you know, almost like a, a little village area. Probably suffice for now. And then I'd like to have some kind of road going to end up coming and kind of mirroring this highway for a little bit uh, eventually to connect in back over here with an interchange. Um, yeah, ultimately, I see a rail line coming down along the shore here into some kind of hub area. And I want a secondary alternate route for, you know, some of my local traffic to move back and forth between these areas. But we'll keep that there as a placeholder. And one thing I'd like to do is have somewhat of a parallel road which 
will give like a nice town entrance area. I can, yeah, yeah, that should be nice. And then maybe we'll keep that going through. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. And then I think I want to switch to maybe dirt roads for our farms. See how big our main building is. Oh, that'll be perfect. Boom. Center that just a little bit better. Oh, yeah, utilities. Great. to do is this is kind of our, our main farm building right but it isn't actually doing anything yet so we need some fields in here and I think oh dear Those are gonna get deleted at some point, so let's not worry too much. All right, yes. Yeah, so I think I'd like to have this start off as a little orchard area. So I want to see what's the size of these assets. Perfect. Okay, one, two, yeah, we'll do three. That is going to be slightly longer. I'm not going to be able to complete that road, but we'll figure something out for that. I uh, don't want a greenhouse. I'd like apples. We are not in a tropical area, so we're not going to have oranges. But apple orchards or something. I live in an area where there's uh, a ton of apple orchards. So I think that's uh, something I'd like to focus on. You know, I live in the northeast. There's not a lot of farms right where I am. Uh, outside of apple orchards and wineries, uh, but pretty close by, you have, you have a bunch of farm areas. Uh, nothing like, you know, I'm sure what you see in the Midwest. But there is a, a decent amount. So with the rebalanced industries, It is very hard to get these farms uh, leveled up. So that's something I need to be uh, cognizant of. So we have our apple orchard. 
I have all these, a uh, couple of these custom assets. So this is a storage facility. I think it'll look good. Right there. But I'd like to put some kind of... Yeah, uh, at least by me, if you have apple orchards, you tend to have... They tend to have activities. Um, one of the ones by me has a, a really extensive playground along with... You know, food and, and everything like that. So I'd like to to mimic that kind of, you know, orchard. It's also rather large. You know, tons of rows of apples and so we're gonna we're gonna increase the size of this. So I think if I go 18, let's see if that worked. Yes, perfect. You know, I don't know much about uh, farming and such, but where do pears grow? That's a good question. Are they tropical? Why do these not line up? That is another good question. I mean, luckily we have a tool that can fix that. So I left some spaces maybe to put paths in. As I think that is definitely something that would enhance the experience of whoever is coming here. I also think we need some form of parking. I wish I had some kind of gravel lot. I think that would look better for the aesthetic right now. You know, uh, the orchard I go to tends to have, you're actually parking on the grass. It's uh, the largest grass parking lot. So I think the goal for right now is to finish off this orchard. And then call it a wrap for the episode. Uh, we haven't even put a dent in the industrial demand. Which is a shame. And I think we'll put in an animal area, which, hear me out, I know it's an orchard, but let's make this some cows. For, uh... You know, like milk, milk cows, if you will. And I think it would be something that, although they probably don't have this many, uh, the orchards near me tend to have small little areas where there's chickens or cows or sheep even. Uh, mostly, 
Uh, I'm guessing more as a attraction than anything else. I don't know that there's enough of them to be functional. But, you know, like, my son will... Loves going to see... Like, I think the one has the one near us has a goat. Uh, he thinks it's the coolest thing in the world. So you would... Wouldn't, you know, wouldn't it be too far out of reality to see some form of animals at one of these places. Uh, turn off our snapping here. Actually, let's turn it on. Just take road guidelines off. Uh, keep our walkability throughout this complex. Um... All right, so we have this, some form of, I don't know if I want cows or sheep. You know, let's stick with cows, because uh, let's, you know, I'd imagine that they're, they're going to use the milk to make cheeses and butter and things that they can sell at our well, when we make it, what will be our little attached market area. Um, how close are we to level two? So we have the workers. We're just waiting on resources, which is perfect. So once we hit level two, what do we unlock? We unlock these. No, those need to be level three. So we'll get the farm workers barracks and the small barn, which I think the barn could be useful for some detailing in here. Let's add another layer of the orchards. We really got this nice sprawling apple orchard going on now. And maybe back here we do have some kind of a greenhouse. Yeah, this one's very industrial looking. I don't know that I like it. Um, you know, I'd like something a little bit more low-key than that, but I guess it's going to have to do for now. Alright, I think that is enough for this orchard. So let's start focusing on some of the other amenities you might see. Uh, one thing I think is going to be perfect for this is we go into our local organic produce and you get these little stalls, right? So these make for a great... Actually, let's do this this direction. Kind of have like a farmer's market like area, if you will. So, see, so you could come in here, you could buy some stuff, maybe they're selling little you know, donuts or cider donuts or something at some of these stands. But it really has that feeling that you would 
you would think you'd see here. Like an open, open kind of place. And then let's get in. You know, as mom and dad are sitting down and eating, maybe we can have, or, you know, mom and mom, or dad and dad, um, some kind of park space in here. I'd like a, a playground, so... Small playground, where are you? Ooh, that is big. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, so that's gonna be fine. That will fit in perfectly. Little sandbox. And then maybe we just continue this gravel texture. Oh, there we go. There is our level up. So what I wanted to do specifically from that level up is grab the farm workers barracks and I think put that right there. Actually, maybe I'll put it. Well, luckily move it's a thing. I think it'll go well right there. Kind of part of this main complex. You know, this is probably our historical farmer's house maybe, but now it's much more commercialized than it used to be. for a little area here and I would like to throw in the bird and bee haven into this build as um, you know like a you get a little honey farm going on I think it kind of fits with the, with the theme of this touristy kind of build as well that in there. Perfect. Yeah, this is, this is looking real nice. can we pop in here? Probably one of these. Let's see how this bad boy looks. All right, uh, we have our orchard. We 
let's call this, let's name this uh, whole area. We're going to call it, this is, uh, this is an easy one. I like alliterations. And with our naming scheme, we're going to call it the Frankish Farms. And it's going to be in the town of Chilperic. Uh, so when we start getting residential in here, I think I'm going to use the European suburbia. Or... Yeah, we're going to go European suburbia. And then we'll make sure that we f turn this into a farming area. All right, well, I think this is a good place to call it. And I'll probably do a little bit of detailing and... Uh, throw in a nice little video to review and we'll call this a good episode and maybe next time we'll start fleshing out this actual town area thank you for watching